Ron is he. Ron the May is she, and we, Tom May TV. TV. So today, guys, we are gonna be here at Disney Springs, and we're gonna look around and see what we can see. And tonight, we're gonna have dinner at the Wolf Game Park. Yes. What do you think? I think that is cool. Let's do this. So, gang, we're going to walk through World of Disney and wah, wah, Debbie Downer masks are still required. Ugh. Let's go see what's up anyways. Hug it out, folks. Could you just hug it out? Hug it out. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> Classic. We still got hand sanitizer. Let me get wide on it. Mickey snacks. I mean, do kids even know what malt balls are? I don't know. Maybe they do. Yeah, you always gotta go. If you're Dizzy Springs, you just gotta walk through. Believe you me, it's still pretty warm out there. Nobody frozen. Oh, uh, well, we saw another store we just have to go through. Haven't been in this one yet. Star Wars Trading Post. Let's walk it. Looking Sorry. for all things Star Wars. Here we are. Rhonda wants this. Yep. Just kind of lounging around the house on a Friday night. Yeah, that's gonna look good. I, on the other hand, I'm gonna look for that outfit, which makes me pretty popular. Yeah. Is he still in all See, this stuff is cool. I bet you that's selling like hotcakes because of all the coolness. Black Spire Outpost. Oh, look at, yeah. The Falcon. Awesome. Very cool. I mean, what does that thing cost? $29.99. I'm impressed. I thought it'd be more. So the store is full of everything you'd want, including Cokes and, oh my gosh, awards and busts, and this is really cool. The statues here. Scary dude. Little bust, really neat. But probably most interesting, the busiest place is right here to get the lightsabers. All right, hello. So there they are. Hello. Okay, Rhonda May, so things happen fast. Our reservation was a 615, but as we looked in the window walking by, um, there was really 
nobody in here. So he says, can we go early? And they took us right in. The service is fantastic. Boom, boom, boom. We got some beverages. We got some water. We ordered appetizers. We ordered the main course. What did you get, Rhonda Bank? Pork chops. Double cut pork chop, yes. We got broccolini, broccolini as a side. Broccolini on the side. And you know what I got? I'm, this sounds silly, but I got the spaghetti and meatballs. People are gonna laugh, go ahead and laugh. But this is made 100% from scratch. This is Wolfgang Puck's That's really good. spaghetti and meatballs. Oh yeah, gotta try it. So let's, uh, let's uh, dig into this and then we'll show you our mains and uh, we'll tell you how it was. Through the roof, so good. Okay, so I didn't think I was gonna get all excited about bruschetta tonight, but we are destroying it because it is so good. Oh my gosh. It's delicious. That bread is so fresh. The flavors are delicious. This cheese is good. The cheese, the, oh my gosh. I mean, really so good. Yes. I can't, I am excited it for my- It all comes together. I'm excited yeah, for my main course. I'm excited. Look at me. I don't even know if you saw me, but I'm excited. There you go with the double pork chop. Man, double oh pot. man, oh man. Looks now awesome. I got the spaghetti from scratch and they forgot my meatballs. So we have an incident. So they're gonna go grab them real quick and put them on the side. But Rob is taking in. Meatballs are here. Everything is right with the world. I hit it with the cheese. Yumminess. It's totally good, yeah? Holy guacamole. Or should I say, broccolini. Okay, gang, a review of the double pork chop. Rhonda, what you think? I like it. You destroyed it. I would eat it. I would order it again. I really liked the way it was double cut for you, sliced up, and the way they cut the bone off of your pork chop and they just set it up here for decoration. I like yeah. it. Yeah, it looks good. So, what did you think of the pickled blueberries? It was okay. And the semolina fondue base that Very they set it in. That was yeah, good. Yeah, it reminded me of mashed potatoes. They're nice and creamy. Yeah. And then the roasted nectarines looked pretty good to me. Yeah, I those did. are okay as well. Yeah. You must have loved it because I usually get offered a forkful, but I didn't get offered nothing. I did. Nothing. I did offer you. You did not want to bite. Oh, oh must be my memory. Okay. But you're Okay, Tom. Tell us about your dish. My dish was delicioso. That's, that's not even a word, but it doesn't really matter. So when you have spaghetti from scratch, delicious. Tomato sauce, the Parmesan cheese uh, on the side, uh, the, that's not the cheese. It was, I can't even think of the cheese, but it starts with an R and a P. But uh, you know that fancy Italian cheese, that stuff. Now you know what I'm talking about. Delicious. Um, meatballs, delicious. So I mean, what, you got to be asking yourself, what? It, Tom, are you 12 years old? You got spaghetti and meatballs? Yeah, but made by Wolfgang Puck and made from scratch. Absolutely delicious. Try it. It's comfort food. Let's go. Broccolini was fantastic. Absolutely loved it. It was a, my dish was a 10 out of 10. I would give it a 10 plus except for one tiny little thing. It had slightly too much basil leaf for me. It was heavy on the basil and I really wish they would have pared that back a little bit. Basil should be a, a hint of basil, not like the main thing, right? So tomatoes and pasta need to be the main thing in spaghetti, but it was fantastic. I'd absolutely get it again. Absolutely get it again. Loved it. Wolfgang Pucks, two thumbs up. 
Hey, so just thinking as we left Wolfgang Puck and thinking about, you know, Disney Springs and the vibe that is Disney Springs, which is has an excellent, excellent vibe, is that um, the restaurants uh, at Disney Springs are so much better than City Walk. So if you want to come for a nice meal, quite frankly, you're not afraid to pay for it. The food choices and the quality, I think, of plates yeah, and stuff is so much better at Disney Springs. There's music everywhere. There's just a vibe at Disney Springs. It's where we always used to start all our family vacations. We would start them right here. Right here. We'd, we'd fly in and we would be here that night. So uh, it just hasn't changed. It's, it's the place to be on night one and maybe the last night too. Ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Maserati has shown up. You take my tears and I'm sorry. 